anyway, everyone, and happy holidays. Just in this year, your preferred real estate broker with Orlando International Relocation Realty. So today, I have some special information for you guys. I have one of my really, really close friends who is also a great insurance person that I would love for you guys to learn from. As you know, I am all about education and today we're gonna to be educating you on insurance for when you buy that first home that you're looking for. Whether you are moving here within the state, outside the state, Canada, England, Africa, South America, it doesn't matter. This insurance person will be for every home buyer, whether you buy in cash or financing, you still need a homeowner's insurance. And my friend Diana will be a perfect person to talk to about insurance. Well, hello everybody and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, it's around the corner. But today I wanna to thank Jocelyn for inviting me to her YouTube program to share a little bit about your expectations when you go to buy a house and your insurance needs. So when you buy a house from Jocelyn, obviously <laughs> you're going to have to worry about insurance and one of the things i'm going to tell you is if you're buying a brand new home don't worry at all the premiums are going to be great because it's a brand new home with a full of credits and you'll be very happy we just need to know a few details about the property if you're adding a pool if you're going to screen it in that kind of thing and we're able to help you now the question arises as you're buying an older home and there's so many wonderful older homes that are up to speed and up to date with their requirements. But if you're buying a home that's built prior to 2002 and you're checking out the roof, make sure that that roof has been replaced since then, obviously, because otherwise it would be a very old roof. But more importantly, make sure that you get a windstorm, windstorm mitigation report. The problems do start to arise when the roof hits about 15 years of age, because we all know that a roof that is 30 years architectural shingle a shingle roof is not going to last in this terrain in Florida for more than about 20 years. That's the truth. So don't let anybody kid you on that. But that doesn't mean that a 15 year old roof is not in good shape. It still should give you about three to five more years of shelf life or lifespan. And at that point you can decide I'm going to have to start saving to replace that roof later on because it is a maintenance issue. Now when the home is 30 years old or older, Beware, not only do we need the roof updates, but you also wanna make sure you have plumbing updates. If the plumbing is original, that should be fine. But sometimes the homes that are older may even go back to 1960 or prior with cast iron plumbing or polyurethane plumbing. And you certainly wanna replace those. And CPVC standard or PEX has become very popular in the last 10 years. Now, the other thing you have to worry about is the age of the air conditioning unit. That's an expensive item. So think about it. As long as you know that that AC unit gives you at least three to five years, you're in good shape. And the electrical panels, make sure you're on breakers. 150 amps is your desired goal with everything that we have today, technologically speaking. And then also remember that the breakers, it's on a breaker, not a fuse, and you don't have Federal Pacific panels. If you are purchasing a home that still has Federal Pacific panels, make arrangements to have that changed out. It's not that expensive and you can usually do it within the first 30 days of purchasing the home and we can get you a quote saying that you're replacing it so that you do not get penalized on the premium or surcharge for that. All of the questions you're welcome to call me and ask my staff. My staff is ready and willing to assist you and eager to help you ensure your dream home that you're hopefully buying from my good friend Jocelyn Masinski with her new brokerage. Call me at Universal Insurance 407-898-1116. Again, 407-898-1116, where one of my agents is standby to assist you with your insurance needs. And just so you know, we're not only limited to homeowner's insurance, but we can usually bundle your auto with your home. And we also offer commercial products for your businesses. Just a quick question, Diana. Does Bundling save any money versus just doing it at home only? It depends. That's a great question, Jocelyn, and it really depends. But if we are able to bundle the home with the auto, yes, you will save money. Not every house that is on the market or every client is in that fit, but we always try. And because we are an independent agent and I have handpicked quality companies over my 20 years being in business, 
guess what? We have a market for everybody. So the idea is if we're not able to bundle you directly with the same company for your home and auto, at least we should be able to bundle you and keep you under the same roof. So that way you have one phone call for all of your insurance needs. And another question is most of the buyers moving here in the Orlando, Florida area are worried about hurricane. Can you talk a little bit more about hurricane insurance? Oh yes, we just finished a horrific hurricane season that fortunately did not affect us in Florida. I feel terrible for the Panhandle and for the Gulf Coast, New Orleans area, but all policies that we offer at Universal Insurance will always have wind and hail damage coverage, which is in essence hurricane insurance. And you have options on your deductibles. The newer the house, you can go with a lower deductible because the premium's always gonna be more attractive. But if it's an older home, you might wanna decide on looking at different options for your deductibles. But yes, hurricane insurance will be covered. The only thing that was not covered on a homeowner's policy is flood insurance. So that's something that if you're not in a flood zone and you want to get it, you can have by the FEMA program, a preferred rate, which is very reasonable. But we can look at that as we go into, start studying the information about the new home insurance policy for you. Would you also say that maybe being in Central Florida or Orlando area, we don't have as many issues with the flood insurance and the hurricane as some other places like Miami and other South Florida area that are close to the coast? Well, that's for sure, but it's really not limited to that because just recently we had horrific rains from one of the storms a couple of months ago and Narcusi Road over by the Lake Nona area was flooded for a few hours. So it just depends. What I will tell you is if you're not in a flood zone today, that doesn't mean that you will not be in a flood zone tomorrow. So it's important to consider it. You can start if you're not in a flood zone today, you can just have the minimum coverage, which is under $200 a year. And it gives you a little bit of coverage in case that you ever need it. Otherwise, if you are in a flood zone, you will know prior to your closing and the survey will determine the elevation certificate and how they arrive at this situation is if one piece of your lot, not even just your home, but the lot itself, has been in the 100 year flood plan and the piece of that lot has flooded and now you are in a flood zone. But an elevation certificate will be performed with the survey company, usually about the last week before you go to final closing. And that's how we know the exact premium. That's awesome. So peace of mind to me is priceless. But the reason I say start with the minimum is because if you do have some type of flooding, it might just be that it ruins your carpet, your tile, your baseboards, which then means we have to cut the drywall up to three feet because you don't want the mold, the moistness to continue to go up. So even if you have something that gives you about $20,000 for a one-story home, that's about 1,500 square feet, you should be fine with that coverage. Awesome. Thank you, Diana. We're glad you shared that information with us. Thank you so much. And thank you again. It will be a pleasure for us to assist you. Wishing you a happy new year and a safe 2021. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you want more video like this and you wanna learn more about insurance and real estate in Orlando, be sure to subscribe. I post videos every week and I would love to share that information with you. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.